What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 93 overall Summer Heat card, Munir. Now for this card right here, I believe it was unfair for him. He was up against Dembele and Saint Maximum. He was never going to win. Never going to win. Even though his stats would have looked like this, I still don't believe he would have got it over Dembele. 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 87 shooting, 92 defending, 95 physical with 90 passing. Now looking at those stats right here. We could honestly say this card would have been one of the best CDMs in this game. By just looking at stats, I'm not going to completely say it simply because I haven't tested him in game. He is six foot three. Six foot three. This guy's an interception reach. He has a tackle reach. Come on now. High, high work rates for me. Medium high is perfect. You're going to have to put stay back while attacking on this guy. Three star skill moves for midfielder. Doesn't matter to me. But a four star weak foot is something I'm always going to love. Simply because he can pass with both feet. He can shoot with both feet. Now he is on a catalyst chem style. He is on 10 chem. For me personally, I'll never understand why they put a catalyst on this guard. For me, engine. Or you're looking at an anchor. It kind of, you know, it kind of depends. If with an engine, how would he feel on the ball? With an anchor, how would he feel on the ball? That's the, you know, that's the little fact I'm having right now. But with the catalyst, I'm boosting, I'm boosting passing stats, and it's not even the most relevant passing stat I actually need. Long passing. It's just his short passing, his vision and crossing. Uh, what's the point EA? But either way, it's something we are going to have to deal with today. This card is draft exclusive, so remember that. 95 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Come on now. Come on now. A 6 foot 3 player with that kind of pace is going to be broken, especially in the midfield. 92 attacker positioning, 83 finishing, 89 short power, 90 long shots, 91 volleys, and 75 penalties. If it bounces to him on the edge of that box, you already know what's going to happen. I'm hitting that top bins. And if it goes out of the stadium, that's not my problem. He has got 96 vision, 99 crossing, 75 free kick accuracy, 99 short passing, 86 long passing, and 91 curve. Now, when it comes down to passing, the guy is an absolute god at it. For me, if you wanted that passing to be even better, you boost the vision and obviously the long passing. I don't need crossing. He will never be in a crossing situation, especially in a CDM position. Like, come on now, BAVA. Now, dribbling-wise, this is where it gets a bit, bit uncomfortable, if you want to say. 73 agility, 57 balance on a 6-foot-3 player. That could be tough. That could be really, really tough. He's got 93 reactions, 96 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 91 composure. Now, the two things I love to see on a big player, especially in the dribbling stat, is the reactions and ball control. I need those two for interceptions. I need them to react fast enough. I need them once they, ha like, let's say someone RBAs the ball straight towards him. Because it's hit with a lot of power, his ball control needs to be very, very high to him to have it under control. And if he, it's like, let's say 70, the ball bounce with him, straight go straight back to my opponent. So that is something I'm obviously not going to have to be careful with because it, I, I doubt, I honestly doubt it's going to happen. He has got 89 interceptions, 88 heading accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, 97 standing tackling, 93 sliding tackling. Do you see what I mean? Put an anchor on this card, you boost the pace, you boost the defending and you boost the physical because that 82 aggression... Looking like a tight one, I tell you that. But the defending stats, if that got an anchor chem style on that, oh my god. We could be looking at one of the best tacklers in this game. As simple as that. Physical wise, he has got 81 jumping, 99 stamina, 96 strength, and 82 aggression. Stamina wise, he will last for the whole 90 minutes. Strength wise, he will be bodying people. Aggression? It's going to be a tight one. I wanted him to be a very aggressive when going in for the tackles. Because the majority of the time, if you're aggressive, you will come out of the ball. But that 82 aggression, we're going to see if it's enough. Now, today I have linked him up with Rio, Petit, Garincha, De Bruyne, and Mukaleli. I believe is how you pronounce the name. And I've also got likes of Ribery, Barnes, and Alba today. I will be playing him in a CDM position. I want to keep it just to the CDM position, though. If we don't get a shot with him, I will end up putting him up front. But... His agility, his balance, I don't know how his turning ability is going to go, so I'm not sure. But let's get into the games. All right, so we are going to see how he feels on the ball. I want to test. Doesn't feel too bad, actually. Doesn't feel bad at all. I don't understand it because that agility is actually really, really low. But he seems pretty nice. I can already tell, though, yeah. When running with the ball, he doesn't feel as fast as his card says, definitely. Now, in transition, going from left to right, I can see it already. But going, just running with the ball, no way. All right, let's test this pass. 
Oh my god, not even facing the right way. And somehow, he swings it perfectly. Are we going to get a goal as well? I am going to shoot this first time because I see the keeper transitioning to the other side. And we are going to get a goal. This is what I mean. Having a CDM that can do those kind of passes is so overpowered this year. Come on, there you go. That's a really good block. And that's really good pressure from him. I didn't believe he was going to react fast enough. So I had to switch to him just so he could. Little bull roll. Take it calm. Yeah, I can tell. He's a calm and composed player. He's definitely not going to be one of those players like Hullet or even Prime Vieira that I was using in foot champs. He's not a player that you're going to be able to run forward with and take really good touches. He's a player that is going to keep it very calm, very composed and just go in defensively. Him going forward as well. I've noticed like we was just on attack and look how deep he is. When I have him on stay back while attacking, he plays very, very deep. I did not expect that because usually high, high when I have him on stay back while attacking still goes further than my player that has medium high. But for some reason, he doesn't. Little RB turn. Nice touches. Bull roll in. I am going to go for a finesse here. I'm telling you, he does not feel amazing on the ball at all. When going forward with him, I don't know. He just doesn't do these precise touches. I need him to. Little press to R9 moments. Oh my god. You can really see that strength coming into play. That 96 strength, if I remember correctly. Unbelievable. I'm going to swing this. I actually did tell him to make a run. And once again, it's a beautiful ball. But the thing is, with his high uh, high vision because of that Catalyst Chem style, it does actually make allow him sorry, to make these consistent balls. Little pass to Petit. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely one of those players that goes straight back into position. He doesn't really mess about like some centre-backs where as soon as you click A with him, they all of a sudden start making a run. Obviously, you can do that with LBA, but I tend not to most of the, most of the time. And for some reason, my centre-backs um, sometimes make runs. But with this right here, I can see he's calm. He's very composed. He, ta he takes the ball. He passes it instantly. You can't really mess about with him too much. Demunia. Nice. I am going to go for a finesse. It's not a bad finesse at all, but that is what you can do with him. The fact that he has that high shot power and high long shot, you can probably go for one of these time to time and see if it goes in. I've seen him made a run. Go on. No, that would have been absolutely insane. I told Rio for some reason. It just literally clicked in my mind. I said, Rio, make a run. I'll see if he can actually ping this ball perfectly to you. He actually did, but the keeper did come out. Pass the Ribery. Oh, that's beautiful. Drag back. Bring it back forward. Go for that near post finish and we are going to get a shot. Now, I'm telling you, his finishing is not actually too bad. Obviously, the shot power for me is going to carry the shot into the back of the net all day. But it actually doesn't seem like if you bang it on the edge of the box or even have an opportunity to bang it inside the box, it's not going to be too bad. Win it. There you go. That's that six foot three coming into play, obviously. He's never really going to lose a header to a really meta attacker because most meta attackers nowadays are people like an R9, Neymar, Mbappe, all of those kind of players. He's really never going to lose a header to those. Little RBA straight into Ribery. Really good pass. Bring him back towards the near post. Go for that near post finish and we are going to get a goal. Once again, just sitting there in the CDM position, waiting for the ball. Petit to Munier. Munier to Ribery. Ribery goal. It's just simple as that. Nice, good interception. What I actually did there was I focused a little bit just because I had to make it very precise. I had to make it not bait, but at the same time, make it like, you know, like I'm going to do it, but at the same time, I'm not. So basically what I did was I went towards Zidane thinking I was going to read the lane towards Zidane, knowing that, you know, everyone's going to pass the R9, R9 moments at one point. So I just instantly tracked back into the R9 moments uh, lane and obviously cut it off. Keep going. Keep going. That's what I mean. That's what I mean right there, right? His pace doesn't seem insane. It really doesn't. I love his transition going left to right. Let's say you get sent one way. You can really recover and go completely the other way. But when it comes down to just running with the ball with him, nah, no way. No way he feels that like the amount of pace it says on his card. He's sitting there on the edge of the box. Wide open. Take a touch. Pass it to one more to De Bruyne. Back to Ronaldo. Beautiful play. And we are going to get another goal. And that is going to be 4-0. This is what I mean. He's sitting there in the CDM position. Giving me the passing option. That's all I need from him. I don't need him to do any more than that. I don't need him to be right on the edge of the box. Because if he's in wide open space, I'm always going to find the passing option. Keep going. Don't get bodied by on our moment. You know you're stronger than him. There you go. It's coming into play now. Keep going. I'm telling you, off kickoff, he feels fast. But other than that, no way. Please keep going. No, Robertson's easily going to catch him. 
That's good movement from him. Really good movement, especially from a CDM there. He realized where the space was to give me that passing option and he ran into it. Can I get all? Oh, he does do me dirty there, I must admit. But I went to go shift him. Go for that. There you go. I just waited for the perfect moment there. And did you see him? Do you see where he is positioned? This is what I mean. He has not got that high, high work rate when you put stay back while attacking on him. I've got stay back while attacking on Petit. Petit plays way higher than him. He is a player that is going to be ready for that counter attack so you don't concede. Going for a slight tackle. There you go. I baited him with Petit. Acted like I was going to go in for the tackle. Saw Munio there and I was like, why not? Let's go in. So it is time to review him, and I must admit, this card is insanely nice, but he was never, ever going to win that vote, and we all, all know it. We rather off Dembele or Saint Maximum over Munier, Munier all day long. Now, he puts in the tackles. He's a very aggressive player as well. His strength is unbelievable. He's a sit-back player. He's not a player that is going to go up there and, you know, stop banging shots, stop running forward and all of those sorts. No, he's a player that is going to be protective. He's going keep you, to keep you not concerned seeding off like counter attacks and stuff like that which i'm perfectly fine with i don't mind that like if you're still going to give me that passing option going forward but at the same time play quite deep not bad not bad at all i don't mind one of those at all now who would i compare him to a good comparison would obviously be witzel saying that you know witzel comes from exactly the same team and comes from exactly the same nationality so i am going to com compare him to witzel i still believe witzel is better simply because Witzel felt better on the ball but this Munir, Munir just puts in tackles he honestly does he puts in tackles like there's no tomorrow I'm not saying Witzel doesn't I still believe Witzel is better but my god we missed out on one head of a card but it was worth it Dembele was 100% worth it six foot three I loved his interception reach I loved his tackle reach the high high work rates really didn't feel like high attacking it did not at all now, the three-star skill moves it does, it's not going to matter too much. The four-star weak foot, though, the fact that he could pass with both feet was beautiful. The over-top three balls down the line, oh my god, we scored so many goals while doing that. Pace-wise, as I said, when running with the ball, does not feel like it at all. Really doesn't. But when in transition going left to right, yeah, I can see it there. So I am going to give his pace, I would say, an 8 out of 10. Shooting-wise, I'm not going to put it too high simply because... He scored one goal. It was a nice goal as well. He also hit the crossbar on a long shot. But it was nothing absolutely out of this world. So I am going to give him a 7.5 for shooting. Passing wise, I am actually going to give him a... I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It was insane. It really was. It was up there with some of the best passes I've actually seen in this game. And the fact that he can do it like a 180 angle as well is ridiculous. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for passing. Dribbling wise, this is where it gets a bit sticky. Because... It would be much lower if the ball control and reactions didn't actually save him. Also, while the composure being there. It's just one of those ones where he was never going to feel amazing on a ball with 73 agility and 57 balance. But he wasn't going to feel terrible. He's definitely a calm and composed player. You can take your time. He takes a really good touch every single time, by the way. And his reactions are insane. So I am going to give his dribbling, I would say 7.5. If the reactions and stuff wouldn't be there, if wasn't there, then it would be much, much lower than that. Trust me. Defensive wise, 10 out of 10. I love, I honestly love how he puts in the tackles. He slide tackle, he slide tackles. Everything is there. He's a defensive awareness was actually one of the best I've seen. He read he read the lane so so well that I didn't even have to control him. So yeah, defensive wise, 10 out of 10. Physical wise, I am also gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I could not believe. I honestly could not believe how good this guy was when I got into those shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder -shoulder animations. It was ridiculous. He was bodying R9 moments. Like, R9 moments was pretty much eating grass by the time he got there. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for physicals. Now, our f uh, overall rating out of 10? If I'm going to be honest with you guys, he's good, but he's not absolutely insane. So I am actually going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. But well, we definitely, definitely did the right thing for voting for Dembele. Yeah, you could obviously argue Saint was, you know, a better option if you want to call it. But for me, Dembele all the way. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.